Hi there. Explanation of mechanism for needing action's body end and uh, this video's last one. Hi my friends, welcome to my channel. We all know now the arrangement of different needles on needle bed. How different camps in the camp box react with different kinds of needles in the process of knitting. And there's now one part left, how long needle and knitting needle push to carry out knitting action. Yeah, for today's video, we're going to talk about camps in knitting system. The knitting system consists of two parts. In the first part were the actions, knitting tuck and the receiving out carried out here. The long needle has two sticking points. When the first point goes into the three different turnovers, three actions can be taking place here. The upper sticking point is responsible for transition. But for today, we're going to talk about knitting cam group, which includes uh, knitting cam, receiving cam, and uh, dancing cam. The main function of dancing we're going to talk about in the next video. The role the dancing cam plays with a lot in knitting action. The explanation of slot needle and the spring needle is over now. If you want to know the usage of these two needles in knitting practice, Go check out my previous videos, and now let's check it out exactly how the long needle and needle are pushed to carry out knitting action. How camps in the knitting system push the long needle up to three fourths of the elevation for needle to knit? If long needle and knitting needle, these two go up or down together. This is the premise you have noticed. So let's just start the first row. As usual, the camp box runs from right side to left. The spring needle is in position B, so the without needing press cam bends the needle down. The force is conveyed to the long needle, so the receiving can cannot touch the green sticking point of the long needle. The point is below the knitting system. Until the other side of the knitting system, the spring needle is released. The long needle restores as well, and this is a role that without needing press cam and long needle play in the knitting action. Then the left knitting system meets the long needle. Two knitting systems in the first row and the second row have been sacrificed. The cam box has let the knitting system out of touch with the long needle, meaning the spring needle stays at position B. Number one, with long needle press cam pressed at the spring needle. The force is conveyed to the long needle. The green point is then out of touch with the left knitting system. The first row is over, and now the second row comes. The left knitting system meets the long needle first. Number one, without needing press cam bends the spring needle down. The long needle is out of touch with the knitting system. So does it when meeting the right system. Let's just escape it and let it run. First rotation is over, and the long needle doesn't carry out the knitting action till the third row. The right knitting system meets the long needle. Unlike what happened in the first row and the second row, the spring needle now at the position A, right before the knitting system meets the long needle. There is no force on the spring needle, nor is the force on the long needle. So the right edge of the receiving can touch the long needle. This can push the green point into the terminal of the knitting can. Following the trail, the long needle rises along with the knitting needle to three fourths of the elevation it can reach. The elevation is from the horizontal line, the point of the long needle originally stay to the top of the terminal. This is the altitude the long needle can rise for knitting. When the long needle reaches the top of the terminal, due to the knitting action, the transition can near the upper guard hurdle cannot touch the blue point of the long needle. It has been lifted at the start of the row if the action is knitting. Then the needle thinks to follow the trail until it meets the density can. For the first half of the sinking action, the density can pushes it down. And for the second half, the upper guard hurdle pushes it to the original place. But that to be honest, depends on density. Well, for the density, we'll talk in the next video. Then the action of knitting for one system is over. The left knitting system is nearby now. The long needle follows the same way. The right edge of the receiving can touch the green point of the long needle first. Push it to rise and let the long needle into the terminal of the knitting can. When it passes over inside the terminal, the density can comes. Push it to think the upper guard hurdle helps the needle go back to the original place. And this row is over. For the first row, I'm not going to stop it. Just let it run and go check out by yourself because you know the action is the same. The difference is just the direction. Until this video, the explanation of knitting action is over. I think I made clear how camps react with the four types of needles in the knitting action. If you don't get it, just leave the comments below and I will answer these questions when I'm available. And that's for today. Guys, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel, Jumin.Z. And you can also find me on TikTok, Jumin.Z as well. And that's you next time. Peace out.